Real estate investing tip, make offers so frequently that making offers on properties becomes reflexive. What do I mean by that? What I mean is that when somebody comes to me with a property, I might be interested in it, I might not. But for example, I got a text message yesterday from an investor that said, you know, he saw that I owned a house around the corner. He's got, he's got something else, uh, you know, am I interested? And basically it was twice what I paid and it was in far worse condition. So I said, no, it's not, I'm not interested. It's outside my buy box. I know you're at 70. This is from a wholesaler. I'm like, stuff like that would be going for X amount of dollars. So I made him the offer. But uh, and then I told him what my buy box was. And he said, all right, you know, thank you for updating me. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll send you more properties going forward. So generally, it's always in your best interest to uh, have making off be, you know, to have the, the habit of making offers become reflexive where you just make offers almost without thinking about it. So now the other thing, too, is to keep, take into consideration the following thing. Um, I don't know if most of you buy and sell things off Facebook Marketplace. Yes, most of you probably do, but there are plenty of times when you'll see someone that has bought a product off the shelf at a Home Depot. Let's say they paid a hundred dollars for this power tool. A lot of them, believe it or not, they they'll put that power tool unopened on Facebook Marketplace for a hundred dollars. Now, I'm going to get to this concept. The fact that the, the product is now technically used since it's been removed from the store, and once you buy privately, there's not going to be any return policy. You need a discount. You'd be surprised at how many people are willing to, uh, you know, buy something from a big box store for a hundred bucks and then put it right back on Facebook Marketplace for a hundred bucks. No one's going to pay you that much money. What's the going rate for something that is opened? It's probably about 50 cents on the dollar. So if I see something like that, I might tell them, hey, look, um, you know, if I buy it from you, if I might as well just go and buy it from the big box store. That's where if I'm unhappy with it, they will take it back. No questions asked. And I have some customer service. I have some uh, recourse there if it doesn't work. If I buy it from you, I know I'm buying it as is and I can't bring it back. So, but sometimes I'll say, look, the last time I bought something like this, I paid 50 bucks for it, $70 for it, whatever it is. I think if I'm going to buy something used, quite honestly, I'm looking for about, I'll go up to maybe 60 cents on a dollar, but I'm not going higher than that. But the point that I'm trying to make here is that making offers is reflexive for me. Um, and I just think that's a good habit to be in. I think it will serve you well in life, buying and selling on Facebook Marketplace, and certainly if you're a real estate investor. So any questions, put them in the comments below uh, and let me know. How often do you make offers per week?